Hey everybody, it's Joe Delera, and I've got a couple of my favorite NBA plays for this Sunday NBA slate. The first play that I'm looking at is Kevin Love over six and a half rebounds. I really like this play because I think that Kevin Love brings a unique skill set into this series against the New York Knicks. Number one, Miami is going to need his scoring, they need his facilitating, they need his ability to stretch the floor. That's something that they're going to want to attack against the New York Knicks, and Kevin Love can bring that. Additionally, he's been a great rebounder. In the four games that he played against the Milwaukee Bucks with 15 plus minutes, he exceeded this line in each of those games. This is a great spot for them against New York because they really need Kevin Love on the floor to clean the glass because New York has been one of the best offensive rebounding teams in the league, and Miami is going to want to stifle those extra possessions. I like Kevin Love to go over six and a half rebounds today. The second play that I'm looking at is also from this game, and it's for Jimmy Butler to record over five and a half assists. Part of why I like this is that the New York Knicks like to blitz their primary ball handlers, and they'll also throw doubles at them. We saw that in the last series with Donovan Mitchell, where New York was sending coverage early, often, and multiple guys even, and helping off of some of the other non-shooters. That's a situation that Miami is going to find themselves in pretty often in this series. And I think that Jimmy is going to be a focal point for the New York defense. As a result of that, I like him to record over five and a half assists as they force the ball out of his hands. And it's a mark that he's gone over in a couple games against New York already with his four at five. So I like Jimmy Butler to go over five and a half assists because without Tyler Hero, without Victor Oladipo, they're really going to need Jimmy to step up in terms of his facilitator. I like Jimmy to go over five and a half assists today. The final play that I'm looking at is for Draymond Green to record over 22 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. I really like this spot because last game he missed, however, he was in a little bit of foul trouble last game. And one of the things that we noticed with Sacramento is DeMontis Sabonis has kind of struggled in this series. It hasn't been a particularly, particularly good matchup for him against Kevon Looney. However, in order to combat that, what the Sacramento Kings did was they started adjusting and they actually were running a small ball lineup with Trey Lyles at the five. The counter for that is not more Kevon Looney, even though he would be able to excel in terms of his uh, rebounding, for example. The counter for that is really running more Draymond at the five, which as we know from the Steve Kerr teams and the Warriors teams that have been on their championship runs, that death lineup with Draymond Green at the five is what you ultimately want to get to. So I think that Draymond sees a little bit more run in this game in game seven, obviously to close out game was a winner or a home game. And he was a little bit passive on the offensive side of things in terms of his shot selection in game six. However, I think that that can regulate and he can still go over this line even if he doesn't score very much. I like Draymond to be out there for max minutes in game seven. And I think that he is the small ball counter that the Warriors are going to bring out. I like him to record over 22 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. So to recap, my three favorite plays for the Sunday NBA slate are Kevin Love over six and a half rebounds, Jimmy Butler over five and a half assists, and Draymond Green over 22 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. Best of luck on your wagers today and enjoy the rest of your Sundays.